Welcome to Motivation at Hand, Ma. To know is to know how. In a world of myriad pace and hue, two styles of life distinctly grew. One linear, focused, steadfast, and true. The other fluid, where winds of change blew. The first walks a path, straight and narrow. Time's arrow flies, swift as a sparrow. Tasks are sequenced, from sunrise till night. Every moment accounted, every plan just right. Yet the other dances in time's vast sea. Juggling tasks, as leaves on a tree. Moments merge, schedules bend and sway. Life is a tapestry of colors. Not merely shades of gray. Both styles unique. Cultural themes, neither wrong nor right. Illuminate life's vast expanse, day and night. For in the dance of time, as in a song's rhyme, there is a place for both beats, in the grand march of time. Monochronic and polychronic intersection in everyday terms. The terms polychronic and monochronic are specific when referring to time orientation and cultural behaviors. There are not direct synonyms, meaning, words that mean the same. The terms polychronic and monochronic are specific when referring to time orientation and cultural behaviors. They do not have direct synonyms. Monochronic, linear time, scheduled. You like doing one thing at a time, always watching the clock. That's a monochronic way of doing things. Polychronic, simultaneous time, flexible. Now, think of a friend who does several things at once, chatting, cooking, and maybe watching a show. They care more about the experience than the exact time. That's a polychronic approach. When you two spend a day together, it's a mix of both styles. You might end up juggling a few tasks. While they might stick to just one thing for longer than usual, you both find a middle ground to make the day go smoothly. This mix of both approaches is the monochronic and polychronic intersection. Imagine someone frustrated because an official is juggling many things instead of focusing on their single issue. This shows a clash between monochronic and polychronic views. Monochronic people like to take things step by step, valuing time and structure. On the flip side, polychronic folks are comfortable handling several tasks, believing in harmony over strict schedules. The main difference. Monochronic folks love structured plans, while polychronic ones value connections and cues from others. Changing from one style to another? It is possible but needs patience. Knowing these differences helps us better understand ourselves and those around us. Changing how you see time, can it be done? Yes, you can change how you handle time, but it takes understanding and patience. When people shift between these two lifestyles, they often find it challenging to adjust to a new way of managing time and tasks. Just as when someone relocates to a different culture, adapting to its rhythm can be a real learning curve. With awareness of these two styles a better understanding of a situation can be had. Monochronic Lifestyle Examples 1. Setting a specific hour each day for gym or exercise and not deviating. 2. Using a daily planner to allocate time blocks for different tasks. 3. Keeping meetings strictly business related without casual chit chat. 4. Preferring individual tasks over group projects at work. 5. Setting and strictly adhering to personal deadlines for chores or tasks. 6. Avoiding distractions, like phone calls or texts, when focusing on a task. 7. Following a fixed routine each day, like bedtime and wake up time. 8. Using alarms or reminders for scheduled tasks or events. 9. Investigating different resources on learning ways to implement time management and efficiency strategies. 10. Preferring concise emails and communication without additional details. Polychronic Lifestyle Examples 1. Taking an unplanned coffee break with colleagues during work hours. 2. 
working on multiple tasks at once, like answering emails while attending a meeting. 3. Extending professional meetings with casual conversations about personal life. 4. Working flexibly, not strictly bound by 9 to 5 hours. 5. Spending time understanding the background and context before starting a project. 6. Emphasizing building relationships, like taking time for team building activities. 7. Adjusting schedules on the fly based on priorities or interpersonal needs. 8. Taking long lunch breaks to connect with peers or for personal errands. 9. Valuing holistic success, where a project's success is seen in terms of team effort rather than individual contribution. 10. Relying more on face-to-face -face or phone communication than written emails or texts. Recognizing these distinctions allows individuals to navigate their personal and cultural environments with greater awareness and adaptability. In a world that shifts, where tides ebb and flow. Seek balance within, let inner calm grow. Embrace the chaos, yet find your own pace. Dance with the winds, but find your own space. For in fluidity, balance is key. Anchor your heart, yet let your mind be free. With each fleeting moment, with each rising sun. Discover the balance, where two styles can become one. Much appreciation to you for giving of your time with us at Motivation at Hand. To know is to know how. We trust you will come back soon.